So today, I will be talking about editing or post-production of your e-bike vlogs. Yeah, I, I record telemetry data. That's a whole nother skill level. My, my assumption is they, they don't know how or it's too hard for them to do that. Now, some people go to work, some people deliver food, some people ride in a group ride. I just go to the clubhouse. Hello everybody. What's up guys? Welcome back. All right. It's been a while. Let's see how the brakes sound. Okay, not too bad. A little squeaky. A little loose too. They probably worn down a little bit. I plan on taking the streets. I uh I have been riding for a while because it's been raining. It's been raining. But now it's nice and sunny. I've been waiting for a nice, clear, blue sky day. Give it, give it a few days for the water to settle down so the soil's not too wet, but I'm not gonna go off-roading anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. So, so today, I will be talking about editing or post-production of your e-bike vlogs. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Editing, post-production of your e-bike vlog. Alright, got a red light. Hopefully the camera sees me over there. So after you, you do all your your editing, or after you do all your writing and you get the footage, I'm gonna let these cars go first. I got a flashing yellow because they'll confuse them. They'll confuse them if I if I pull out before they do. So you're writing, you're having fun, you're talking, you got the you got the uh, you got the audio down. Like you got the wind noise down. All right. So after you got the wind noise down, you got the camera. You got the camera set up. You got the camera right where you want it to. You know, you got it whatever position. I got a chest mount, but whatever position you got, you got it set up. You got the right type of camera. I talked about the camera a little bit. Good idea to have two cameras, you know, so that way you can just swap out the camera and still keep going if you have long rides. If you don't have long rides, then one camera is good enough. But I talked about charging the battery. Get a get a charger just for the batteries, so you can charge the batteries outside of the camera. The camera will get hot and shut down. If you charge the batteries in the camera, yeah, it gets hotter, hotter, and it'll probably shut down. So I'll talk a little bit about that. So you got all your footage. Get the largest memory card. Try to get a memory card. Or SD card, most of it's SD card that can keep up with the footage. So try to get a memory card that keeps up with the footage. Whatever you do, 60 frames per second, 120, 240 frames per second, whatever you want. You know, 5K, 10K, 8K, 20K, whatever it is. So once you got that down, and you got the stabilization down. Try to get the camera to to keep the uh, horizon level as much as possible. More people will watch it longer, in my opinion. So 
So you got all the footage, now you gotta render it. And I would say render it in the highest resolution, highest quality you can, because uh, after that point, beyond that point, it's all downhill from there. All downhill. I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing my compression tights today. It's like in the 80s. It feels good, actually. I gotta watch out for the bugs. I'm still wearing the Flexi Freeze vest. So, anyways, you got your uh, video right. Another thing you want, you, if you want to, you don't have to by any means. Most most people don't. Most people don't. Bicycle riding, e bike, e bike vlogging, motorcycle, electric motorcycle riding, even car vlogs. They don't have telemetry data. Now your GoPro should be able to, should, should be able to uh, record telemetry data, GPS data. I don't own a GoPro, so I don't know. But if you're able to get telemetry data, GPS data, there's a, which I am doing, I like that a lot. Gives you an idea or sense of speed, speed, where I am on the route, uh, the time of day, the day as well. You know, I would have, I remember one time I had somebody comment like, I'm wearing a jacket and gloves. <laughs> that somehow, because I wear a jacket and a glove riding my bike, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pansy or something like that. It was like, it was like, I think it was towards the end of winter. <laughs> and it was like maybe, uh, I don't know, 40, 40 degrees, maybe 50 degrees. You know, maybe for some people that's not too hot or not too cold, but cold for me. So people don't, you know, when you ride, you don't have an idea of the, the, the weather, how fast you're going, the time of day, the time of year. So I, I try to put that information on there to give you a sense of uh, the environment, you know. Uh, I'm just going to, oh, oh, floating seeds. Look like some of the cattails. I call them cattails. It's, it's a plant that looks like a cattail and they're starting to seed. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I don't have time to take a picture of it, but I call them cattails. And they're and they get really fluffy and they look like they're shedding. But they're really just seeds, almost like a dandelion kind of a seed. I see those floating around. Oh, yeah, all the uh, acorns are yeah, I think they're acorns from the trees. It's not an acorn tree, but it's like a acorn. They drop they're all green right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I record telemetry data, so I do that. That's a whole nother skill level as far as content creation. I don't see many, I don't see many e-bike bloggers doing that. My, my assumption is they, they don't know how or it's too hard for them to do that. So, good for me. But if you can figure it out, you know, good for you. If you want me to do a tutorial on it, join the membership. All right, like this video, leave a comment saying you want a tutorial on how I do my uh, telemetry data. And also, uh, subscribe to the channel, join the membership, make a request that you want a members only members only tutorial on how to do telemetry data or how I do telemetry data. Maybe that'll help you out. So I do telemetry data. The way I've been doing it works fine for me. So, so uh, get uh, the highest resolution, 
try to match the telemetry data with your audio with your video. That's a challenge. It's one thing to have audio, but try to match telemetry data because when you slow down, you don't want the telemetry data showing that you're speeding up, right? And when you're speeding up, you don't want the telemetry data to show you're slowing down. That kind of kind of throws everything off, you know? So, so you gotta match three things. You gotta match telemetry data with audio, with the video. At least that's how I'm doing it. If you just do audio and video, you're set. If you just have audio that's or if you have video that the audio is a part of the video, then that's way easy. If you can get rid of the wind noise. So you, that's way easy. You just you're just ready to go. Ring my bell. Okay, so you're you're all set. You know, once you have if your video already has the audio on it, you're not doing an external audio, you're set, you're ready to go. If you got rid of the wind noise, if the audio is good. So you just start editing. And what I've been doing recently now is, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't, people don't watch all your <laughs> you know, don't watch all your videos. On top of that, they don't even watch. Uh, okay, I was gonna do something, but I'll do it some other time. Uh, people don't watch your videos throughout the whole video. Okay, if your video is 20 minutes, 30 minutes, they don't watch the whole 20, 30 minutes. There was a guy on a motorcycle. He was checking me out. I'm breaking. I'm trying to ma not make so much brake noise. I find if I brake early, it really reduces the brake noise quite a bit. Instead of just like grabbing. Is that it? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm headed to the clubhouse, so. Always headed to the clubhouse. Now, some people go to work. Some people deliver food. Some people ride in a group ride. I just go to the clubhouse. I'm okay with that. Or some people do solo, go to the park, go to parks or whatever. I just I just like riding in my own neighborhood. That's why I picked this place. I picked this place to live here. And I, I, when I moved here, I visualized me riding a bike. At the time, I didn't know if it was going to be an electric bike. But now here I am, riding an electric bike. Woo, feel the wind in my legs. I didn't, I'm not wearing the compression tights, so it feels good. 80 degree, nice. The Flexi Freeze vest, uh, I don't have the ice, they're just water right now. But I need the ventilation. Oh, yellow! I can make it! I made it! So when you get the audio and the video done, and if you do telemetry data, you get to match all that up. Then, what I like to do is because people don't really watch everything, I try to provide the highlights at the beginning. That might be counterintuitive. You don't want people to just watch the beginning and leave, but that's kind of what they do anyway. Uh, they watch so far and then they leave. They probably have another video that showed up in their feed that they're gonna watch. You know, I would say. Only about 30% make it all the way through, for me anyway. So, and I'm okay with that. That's just, I do that too. I'll start watching video and then when I get what I need or I get bored, I just go to another video. So I try to put the highlights or the interesting parts at the beginning. Try to hook you in. But if you don't want to get, you know, a lot of times it doesn't work. But at least I'll give you the good tidbits at the beginning. And then if you want to leave, you can leave. Because not every ride 
I'll tell you, not every ride is is exciting. Okay, it's, it's boring. You know, especially if you're riding the same route, which I kind of do, but not really. I ride the same route. Let's see if I can beat any of those cars around the corner, around the turnaround. Any of them turning around here? Uh, no. Oh, the truck. I kind of do beat them, but they got a they got a vehicle, so they're going to pass me up. Oh, I got I got to hurry. There we go. So yeah. Enjoy the ride, everybody. Enjoy the ride. I'll try to uh, talk about more editing. So, what I talk about? Oh yeah, put the highlights in the front because at least uh, they can be entertained for the first, I don't know, 30 seconds at least. And, uh, you know, people's, it seems like people's attention span to watch a video on YouTube is getting shorter and shorter. And because of TikTok and YouTube shorts, the attention, pan, <laughs> the attention spans are getting even shorter than that, like a couple seconds. People are only willing to watch the first couple seconds before they make their decision to stay or leave. It's, uh, you know, I don't know what it is. New generation, uh, ADAD, or not AD, ADHD, or whatever attention deficit disorder, whatever it is, but people are, are less willing to, to spend a little bit more time to watch content. They just want to watch just a little bit of it. Some, some of it is just social engineering because you want to get the views up. You can't, people can't watch all the videos throughout the whole video. So you're going to get massive views with very short times. 